spend years with a Sajikor Lifestyle Approved Retirement Scheme. The time by Sajikor Life is 7 o'clock. Tonight in CVM News at 7, record year for Carnival 2024, rare eclipse shrouds sections of North America, and Parliament gets new clerk. Also this evening, a stroke victim living in Chicken Coop receives assistance. In the business report, Lasco investing in new solar plant. While in sports, a region prepares to host T20 World Cup. From Kingston, Jamaica, this is CVM News at 7. I'm Stephen McHugh. And I'm Curlin Brown. It's Monday, April 8, 2024. Thanks so much for joining us. The Ministry of Tourism is reporting arrivals for the carnival season this year surpassed the 26,000 visitors who came to the island last year between April 1 and 20. The increase is an indication of the impact carnival in Jamaica has on the local economy. Promoters have dubbed Carnival 2024 one of growth with record revenues. Andrew Laidley takes the lead. The Carnival Road March is now in the rearview mirror. The preliminary estimates are that this year was another record in terms of contribution to the economy. Our um, preliminary estimates from the Minister of Tourism said that based on the visitor arrivals, the projected persons um, spend when they get here, um, it's, looking, it's going to be somewhere in the region of about $5 billion of economic impact. So this year, I'll say our band has more than doubled in size. I'll give you that. That's a, that's a number I guess you can use. We've more than doubled in size um, with a commensurate revenue, which is great for us. Um, and we see, we see a great future here. We're going to continue to invest uh, in the band, but also, I mean, in the country, in culture. Costume prices alone tend to range from 400 to 800 US dollars. About 5,000 revelers bought those packages across the three bands. And for those who needed some last-minute extra cash, at least one microlending firm repositioned its personal loan facility to accommodate carnival expenses for clients. Well, we want to show our consumers how a personal loan can have impact on a myriad aspect of your life. And one of them is entertainment. Uh, carnival is a very, Jamaica Carnival is a very, very big experience. And it can be very cost intensive and we really want to be able to help as many people experience carnival. I believe that Jamaica Carnival is one of the best carnivals in the world it, and as I said it can be a bit cash intensive so we don't really want people if you don't have to go into your savings um, and come up with the cash up front or if you're unable to and this is something that's on a bucket list for you and you really want to experience it we're providing this loan facility at a very 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 um, competitive interest rate with very very flexible repayment terms to help um, individuals come on board and experience um, kind of Jamaica Carnival 2024 with Gen X. And with more than 100,000 visitors and locals participating in the road march and related events, promoters and organizers agree Carnival 2024 was a resounding success in terms of revenues. As for vendors, they too were out in their numbers, taking advantage of the Carnival dime. Carnival day is a day where people just go rival and do them thing. Now me come out with my little pot of soup now and two little jelly. He said, I can't go on with that thing, you know? Mm -hmm. You see it, so... I well, prepare myself now for go up on the road. Can't walk with them, you know, but I have to stay here one away and do my little thing, you know? Well, my day hasn't been bad so far. And trust me, expect 100,000 today, you know, really. Yeah. 100,000, in limits. <laughs> oh, yeah, like when it's carnival, but although the police, them give a hell, and on a T4, a T4, a hustle. We always see that problem with them, but we still got to uh, go on with that look of things, so we forgive God, thanks. So, what's next for the carnival promoters? Andrew Laidley, CVM News.
Now, blended with the excitement of Jamaica's carnival, the growing concern for safety prompting participants and organizers to prioritize their well-being amidst the festivities. Celine Campbell picks up that report. A true spectacle of cultural significance defines carnival in Jamaica and the Caribbean at large, a hive of activities to include the dominant road march where anticipation fills the air as revelers sway through the streets of Kingston in costumes adorned with feathers, sequins and jewels. The infectious beats of soca and dancehall music intoxicate the human soul, so much so that many never stopped to think about their safety. But that's a burden the organizers must bear. From the Carnival in Jamaica perspective, you know, we contract the JCF directly. Um, you would have seen um, hundreds of police officers out on the road. From the Exodus standpoint, you know, we had about 400 security personnel on the road with us. So we had a large, large contingent. I mean, Exodus is by far the largest band. Uh, you know, we have 5,000 revelers on the road with us yesterday. With over 5,000 revelers from one band, it's no surprise over 5 billion Jamaican dollars would have been generated from Carnival 2024. But amidst the frenzy, one reveler recounts two instances that reminded her of the importance of personal safety. One of the incidents I noticed was with a motorcycle that actually hit a rebel. Unfortunately, that person is okay based on the update I received. But it's just the fact that there were motorcycles trying to barge their way through. So that obviously was something for concern. There was one other incident where I noticed that girl actually tried to climb the truck while it was moving. She fell and unfortunately the truck tire ran over her leg. However, motorcyclists were prevalent throughout the march. Many were spotted doing stunts in close proximity to the revelers, while many rode through the crowd casually as though they were on display. Vice Chairman for the National Road Safety Council, Dr. Lucian Jones, says it's a cause for concern. Any kind of events where bikes are driving, where cars are driving, where pedestrians are in danger, where revelers are in danger, we are concerned. CVM News was informed that motorcyclists were warned by members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, to steer clear of the crowd. It, however, appears those warnings fell flat. Celine Campbell for CVM News. And the mayor of Kingston, Andrew Swaby, has scheduled a meeting with organizers of Jamaica Carnival to discuss how garbage disposal issues were handled after this year's event. Celine Campbell again reports. It's clear something massive happened here. The unwanted remnants of Carnival drew the attention and ire of Kingston's mayor, Andrew Swaby, and his team. Following the discovery of a garbage pileup along the streets of Kingston, Swaby on Monday called for a meeting with Carnival organizers to address what he describes as a disaster to the entertainment city. I am disappointed with the organizers at the state of the road military fair in the new Kingston area, Trafalgar to particular, and on Hope Road. In the, it, matter of fact, it leads from Trafalgar intersection of Notre Boulevard and Trafalgar Road right down to the intersection with Hope Road. When you look at the bus stops where persons supposed to stop or pick, um, go and pick up their bus or parents come off their bus, it's a bad state. On Monday morning, major thoroughfares along with drains were lined with garbage left behind by Carnival revelers and spectators on Sunday. A sore site stood just outside Jamaica House, the office of the Prime Minister. The organizers are supposed to provide, make sure that they make arrangements to get the place clean and right after the event. There's no, there's no way that we should be seeing garbage at 6 o'clock. As a matter of fact, no, it's after 9 and garbage is still on the road. He is adamant this will not be allowed, insisting the organizers' negligence proves a breach. While we are not against persons having fun, but they have a duty to make sure that the organizers have a duty to make sure that the garbage is collected. Just like how they have been prepared for this event, they should have make sure that they clean it up. We will not stand for this type of behavior. We'll make sure put in the necessary arrangement to make sure that we don't have this problem repeated. The meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, April 9 at 1 o'clock. Celine Campbell for CVM News.
To another shadow of sorts now, as for the first time in seven years, sections of the planet were momentarily plunged into darkness caused by the often elusive solar eclipse. While some spectators flocked to key lookouts for viewing abroad and even here at home, others leaned into superstition, calling the April 8 event a sign of the times. But according to NASA, eclipses may actually be a prelude to scientific breakthroughs. Here's Raman Gordon. Today, over 30 million people across the Western Hemisphere witnessed a truly remarkable event. A total solar eclipse blanketed parts of at least 15 U.S. states as the moon passed between the sun and the earth. While parts of the Caribbean experienced only a partial eclipse, the spectacle captivated observers worldwide, inviting large audiences to key viewing sites abroad and viewing portals online. In Jamaica, residents in parts of the island witnessed the partial eclipse firsthand. The footage you're now seeing is out of Spanish Town St. Catherine. Other users shared their experiences online, all seemingly united by curiosity. But eclipses weren't always reserved for leisurely viewing. In fact, historically, many ancient civilizations saw them as a bad omen. However, at a press event, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, sought to allay any fears surrounding the event. Eclipses have a special power. They move people to feel a kind of reverence for the beauty of our universe. Their power is not only to unify us on Earth, but to further science and discovery. Deputy NASA Administrator Pam Melroy further explains how the event may actually lead to groundbreaking discoveries. We're also leveraging this unique opportunity to look at the effect of the sun on the Earth's atmosphere, particularly the ionosphere. That's the electrically charged part of our atmosphere that can act as a conduit for many of our communications and navigation signals. So understanding how solar energy affects the ionosphere is crucial for predicting and mitigating potential disruptions to our technology. The last total solar eclipse occurred back in 2021, visible only in Antarctica. NASA says the next eclipse is due in October this year. It will be partial, similar to that experienced in parts of Jamaica earlier today. It will be visible in South America, Antarctica, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and North America. Ramon Gordon, for CVM News. To stay where you are, CVM News at 7 will continue right after this. So I'm at a party vibing with a 10. At least I hope it's a 10. But I'm not sure because my contacts fell down the bathroom sink, so I can't see a thing. I don't know what to do. What I do know, though, is the smell of KFC hot wings. Delicious, irresistible wings I can enjoy with my eyes closed. KFC hot wings, a wing for the win. This is Mark. He's saving to make sure that this one doesn't have to worry about student loans. This is Tevin. He's saving to make sure that next year he can live by his own rules. And this is Janelle. She's saving to make sure that the girl's trip to Greece makes it out of the group chat. They all have one thing in common. They're JN Bank Savings. Saving little by little is what makes life affordable. Stop wishing you could. With your JN Bank Savings, you absolutely can. JN Bank will help you find the way. The best Burger King with the best tasting burger under the sun. The you deserve the best. You are number one. Best, best. Flame grilling, juicy whopper, cause you deserve it. Yeah, next level. Awesome, that's how we serve it. Mama, mama, man, you done your way. The taste rules every day. Yeah. Flame grilled goodness, you deserve it. Great taste, well done. With more flavor, fresh Burger King, best tasting burger. Welcome back. House Speaker Juliet Holness is again under fire for the now infamous letter sent to outgoing clerk to the Houses of Parliament, Valerie Curtis, who retired on Saturday. 
The scathing letter accusing Ms. Curtis of negligence has drawn the ire of many. But is this ongoing controversy much ado about nothing? Ramon Gordon reports. No reprieve for wholeness. In this latest update, opposition leader Mark Golding is doubling down on his calls for House Speaker Juliet Holness to retract her public letter, addressed to retired House clerk Valerie Curtis. In the now infamous missive dated March 22, 2024, Holness accused Curtis of negligence in her handling of Auditor General reports. Backlash ensued as some in civil society and the opposition slammed Holness for what they consider an unjustifiable overstep. In a statement late Sunday, Golding amplified his denunciation, accusing Holness of maladministration. The People's National Party remains gravely concerned about the Speaker's intransigent failure to withdraw her published letter to the Clerk to the Houses. It has given rise to significant consternation within the public service, as not only was it issued without proper legal authority, but it also seriously violates basic principles of good employment relations in the public sector. Golding went further, calling the note from Holness reprehensible, reiterating a call from Leader of Opposition Business in the Lower House, Philip Paulwell, who had asked for an apology. The Speaker's refusal to retract the letter has only deepened the breach of trust that had already been seriously eroded. Furthermore, we urge her to issue a public apology to Ms. Curtis as an important step towards healing the wrong done to a senior and highly regarded public servant on the eve of her retirement. Social commentator and former PNP strategist Professor Knut Thompson supports the call. The fact that the speaker, without proper legal authority, could have issued this letter to a civil servant sends a signal to the entire civil service that persons in the political administration could overstep their boundaries and issue them letters that are damaging, even though unlawful. Others have joined the increasingly outspoken Golding in his charge against wholeness. However, at least one commentator contends the furore is much ado about nothing. This is majoring in the minor, minor, minor. I mean, look at it. Look at the other day. For the first quarter, murders were down 12%. The rapes are down 37%. And I'm talking about some silly less of reprimand to a lady who's retiring. It's a crazy prioritization of the country's priorities. Curtis retired on Saturday after being appointed back in July 2021. She had, up to her departure, refrained from commenting on the matter. Ramon Gordon. For CVM News. Meanwhile, it's a new high for Colleen Lowe, the attorney now elevated to the position of clerk to the Houses of Parliament. Her appointment follows the retirement of Valerie Curtis on Saturday. The new house clerk studied law at Hertfordshire University and the BPP Law School in the United Kingdom. Additionally, she holds a certificate of legal education from the Norman Manley Law School. Lowe also has a master's from the University of Suffolk and is a certified mediator in both the UK and Jamaica. The Glenmuir past student worked at the National Land Agency for almost six years, first as a paralegal and then as a legal officer before serving at the Electoral Office of Jamaica. She was appointed deputy clerk in 2022. A 44-year-old woman and her common-law husband were gunned down in Westmoreland on the weekend. The female succumbed to her injuries, leaving relatives and residents in grief and shock. More details from Natalia Clark. Residents in the fishing community of Brayton, Westmoreland, are still grappling with the shooting death of one of their own. She is a 44-year-old Michelle Bremner Reed. Reports are that on Saturday, around 8.30 p.m., the deceased was at home with her common-law husband when they were pounced upon and shot by two men. Her partner remains hospitalized in serious condition. I'm going to cut me my father. I know I said that I'm to work. I'm missing. I'm going to use for the missing. I'm going like, I'm going to even hear poor, poor, poor in a full community. Much less what happened more day. I shock everybody that day in our whole community. Delroy Clayton, a lifelong resident of the community, says that the deceased will be missed. She was a cool woman, father. Cool. She just cool. She don't get no problem, my father. She just cool and keep herself to herself. Uh, them the kind of people that we are telling about. The injured man has been identified by his alias as Bota. 
His father, Ezra, recalled the moment he heard the shots and later found his daughter-in-law's body. When I go to the gate and look, just a, 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 like three, four feet away, the girl lied down right against the gate, die on his face. Nice girl with in, in blood, blood. And then the guy burst out in, in tears. And I, I was there because I don't feel for cry. I couldn't cry because to see the, the lady have two nice daughters, one going at a big school, one old school, soon get married. And to, when the, when I look and see her daughter, they're here now, people here, and they come. And to see her daughter, just stand up and look in. And her dead mother like that. Member of Parliament for Western Westmoreland, Moreland Wilson, says that the deceased was known to his office and appeals to residents to share any information they have with the police. The police are currently gathering their information and will share more information as soon as it becomes available. But the most important thing right now is for those who are out there to have any information that may lead to some closure to this case that they may reach out to the police or to a JP and share what you know. 28 people have been murdered in the parish since the start of the year. Natalia Clark, CVM News. CVM News at 7 returns with the business segment after this. Delicious, irresistible wings I can enjoy with my eyes closed. KFC Hot Wings, a wing for the win. We want a piece for Jamaica. Mm, yeah. Yo, what are you? We got to be Oh, my, no, 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 I don't feel good, Bejin. Just shake and make a play like a bad Bejin. Really, I have to shake and? Yeah, man, I don't badness, Bejin. Just live good, man. That's it, man. Good evening and welcome to the Business Report. I'm Andrew Laidley. With more than three decades of experience under its belt, Lasco Distributors and Manufacturing is making waves on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. Both companies have migrated to the main market of the Stock Exchange, with the managing director now announcing significant investments in energy. Lasco Distributors and Manufacturing poised for growth, bolstered by its transition to the big leagues, the main market of the Jamaica Stock Exchange. Managing Director James Rowell riding that momentum and using the opportunity to make this announcement.
Now, we apologize for the audio on that story there. Uh, Bank of Jamaica is defending its December 2021 decision to suspend the Cambio and Remittance Operating License of Alliance Financial Services Limited. In a statement today, the BOJ revealed that the Court of Appeal also ruled in its favor. The BOJ re also revoked the authorization granted to Alliance to operate in the BOJ FinTech regulatory sandbox as a payment service provider. BOJ said these actions were taken because of allegations at the time which threatened the good order in the foreign exchange market and payment systems, as well as the reputation and good standing of the Jamaican financial system internationally. In its 2022 judgment, the Court of Appeal agreed that the risk to the financial sector outweighed the economic loss and inconvenience. Alliance Financial Services may suffer as a result of the continuation of the suspension. BOJ is also noting that Alliance's decision to divest its business was a strategy and activity pursued by the principles of Alliance. Bank of Jamaica says it had no part in that decision or transaction. On April 1, 2022, BOJ publicly advised that Alliance, under a new ownership structure, applied for a Cambio and Remittance license and, having satisfied the bank's due diligence requirements, was licensed to offer Cambio and Remittance services at approved locations, effective March 23, 2022. And that's the business report for today. Your market summary is up next. Be sure to stay tuned for more CVM News at 7 with Curlin and Stephen after the break. Supermed Family of Pharmacy is your trusted partner in health and wellness for over 30 years. With eight convenient pharmacies across eastern Jamaica. Supermed Mall Pharmacy. Supermed New Kingston. Supermed Pepin. Supermed Port Antonio Pharmacies 1 and 2. Claire's St. Mary. Lloyd St. Thomas. And a convenient drive through at our Huenden location where you can get your medication without leaving your car. We're dedicated to providing you with the highest level of care. Experience the difference with Supermed Family of Pharmacies. Super happy, super healthy. And you go down and have a good day. Let's sing. Supermed. Keeping up with the kids' growth spurts might mean it's time for a bigger fridge. Don't worry, at Quartz, we got you. Or maybe you're ready to turn your home entertainment up a notch. That means a larger TV and sound bar. We got you. Excited about making your new home feel more like you? We've got you. Need a better mattress for more restful sleep? We've got the size and comfort that's right for you. So shop today and pay later. Whatever you need, we've got you. Quartz, bringing value home. Just so good, cheesy's the taste is just so good. Cheesy's are the one and only. So cheesy, crunchy, give me one, please. Sunshine snacks, cheesy's is just so good. The whole crowd has a cheesy, so cheesy, just so good. Yes, Valley, can you feel me? Sunshine snacks, just so good. Number one taste, the whole place I say, just so good. Cheesy's the taste is just so good. Cheesy's are the one and only. So cheesy, crunchy, give me one, please. Sunshine snacks, cheesy's is just so good.